Portland's most prestigious schools now facing a four and a half million dollar lawsuit after a former student claims she was abused by a teacher at Catlin Gable. This comes after the school hired an independent investigator to look into decades of questionable conduct by teachers and staff. Arvelina Jones is live outside the Multnomah County Courthouse digging deeper into the details of this lawsuit. Valina? Well, Emily and Jeff, this victim, Kim Wilson, says she came forward once before, but nothing came out of it. Now she's taking legal action to make sure her voice and others are heard. I, I was very innocent um, um, and very vulnerable. This picture of 11-year-old Kim Wilson is still hard to look at for the woman who now has a sixth grader of her own. There is a huge weight in having a child the same age as when I was um, molested. Wilson is filing a lawsuit against her former school, Catlin Gable, claiming they were negligent by continuing to employ her sixth grade teacher, Richardson Shoemaker, despite a number of sexual assault complaints against him became a culture in which the teachers were protecting each other and the administration was protecting that, but it also meant that children didn't feel that they had somebody to go to that would protect them. The lawsuit claims Shoemaker sexually abused Wilson during the 1994-1995 school year in his classroom more than 80 times. Wilson prompted the school to hire an independent investigator after she posted about her abuse online in 2018. Shoemaker is one of nine former teachers and staff members included in the school's report released last month. The report outlined more than 40 years of sexual misconduct. Ms. Wilson is the first person to file a civil lawsuit against the school, but I don't believe that she will be the last. Despite several allegations, Shoemaker continued teaching until 2000 when he resigned during a separate sexual abuse investigation. He was never criminally prosecuted and died in 2018. Wilson hopes her actions will encourage others to speak up too. I urge you to step forward knowing you are heard. Now the school released this statement today saying in part we apologize to any students who were subjected to sexual misconduct and abuse when they attended Catlin Gable and deeply regret their suffering. The school is committed to truth, transparency and accountability as we support our survivors. Now we have also reached out to Shoemaker's family and are awaiting a response. Wilson's attorney tells me she also plans to file additional lawsuits in the coming weeks with different clients against the school as as well involving separate teachers. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Valina Jones, Coin Six News. Story will continue to follow Valina. Thank you.